What up, y'all? It's me, your girl, Shanita So Fly. And this is Shanita Be Quarantining, where I'm talking mad shit about mad different topics because, as usual, I ain't got no jobs to go to. <laughs> So right now, you're about to get a Shanita So Fly exclusive. I have never told this story in its entirety to anyone. You're welcome. So as y'all know, I do mad fly shit. And one of those fly things is being a go-go dancer in nightclubs. So basically, I get paid to entertain the crowd and shake my butt. Perfection. So in 2017, one of my fellow nightlife colleagues was like, hey, I got this opportunity for us to get paid to perform in the Bahamas for like two weeks. I'm like, ooh, that sounds cute. Give me the deets. I had never been to the Bahamas before and I love getting tan and I love getting paid. <laughs> sounds perfect, right? So I looked it up and saw that it was this new festival called Fire Festival and the website was absolutely stunning. I was like, you know what? I'm down, count me in. But as time was passing, shit was mad unclear, like where we were staying, when we was flying out, and my nightlife contact kept saying, don't worry, everything's being taken care of. Red flag. So real talk, I'm having a bad feeling about this. And mind you all, I love traveling. And to this day, that's the only trip I've ever had a bad feeling about prior to going. I should have listened to my gut. I so boom, we land in the Bahamas and none of our luggage is there. Mind you y'all, it's like 10 to 12 of us and not a single piece of our luggage has made it. When our ride gets there, it's a big school bus, like a big ass cheese bus, you know? <laughs> And I'm trying to be positive, like, you know, maybe this is how they get around on the island, you know, like real simple. This is simple life, right? So we like, okay, cool. Take us to where we stand. And he's like, I don't know where y'all stand. <laughs> so he takes us to the festival site and y'all, that shit don't look nothing like the website. And I'm like, I ain't never been to no major festivals, but I don't think this is how things should be looking. <laughs> So then they take us to a series of houses that clearly have not been occupied in at least 20 years. I'm talking about dirt, dust, mouse droppings. I mean, it was fucked up. Also, all these houses were in the middle of nowhere and we like, yo, we can't stay here. And they like, all right, the only other option for you is a school, but it has Wi-Fi. <laughs> So we get to the school with the Wi-Fi, and basically it's a kid's day camp with bunk beds. So we slept there that night to the soothing sounds of the torrential downpour of rain. The next few days are basically a blur, but by this time the rumors are swirling that acts have pulled out and the festival's gonna be canceled. But what I do know is that one night, we rolled up to the festival site mad as hell because we needed some answers. And y'all, it was pure, chaos out there. <laughs> they were passing out luggage out of a trailer in the dead of the night. There was a lunch line to get food out of these little cartons. People were walking around like zombies. It was... <laughs> So we rolled up to the production house on site, which was mad nice, by the way. They even had a fucking bidet, okay? And we told them that we wasn't leaving until y'all fixed this shit. Because basically at this point, we was homeless <laughs> in the Bahamas. <laughs> So eventually they got us other houses to stay in, which were actually clean and with Wi-Fi, but they ain't have no food. Like at one point, we had to combine all of our lunch line food so that we could all eat. Later on, we had to go on a quest for food because we didn't have any left. And we were literally tying cloths to the trees as we walked so that we wouldn't get lost. Lucky for us, a local was driving by and saw us and took us to a nearby restaurant and afterwards someone drove us back to where we were staying. So fast forward, it had been arranged for us to sleep on a cruise ship. So basically, we had to get on this little submarine looking boat in the middle of the night which zoomed us to where the cruise ship was in the middle of the sea. <laughs> Can y'all believe this? <laughs> So while we're on a cruise ship, we get our flight confirmations to go back home. Thank God. When we get to the airport, it is psychotic. That's the best way to describe it. It's hundreds of people there and everyone is furious. At one point, I was at the counter and this older white man pushed me. And I was like, God, please, please. Anyway, within all the chaos, somehow my flight got booked 
separate from everybody else. So I had to fly home without my group. And I was really sad, but I was thankful to finally be getting the hell up out of there. Oh, and our luggage, it never left Florida the entire time, which ended up being a blessing in disguise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo chow! And that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that story. Drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and your feelings and shit. Tag somebody, tag everybody, and I'll see y'all next week. Toodaloo!